guys' favourite cupcake flavours? Top three. Hit it. Vanilla. Vanilla. Number one. Chocolate. Chocolate. I don't... I don't... Yeah. Green velvet. Boysenberry. Boysenberry cupcake? Yeah. Cool. Chocolate. Chocolate. And... Maybe the red velvet. Chocolate. Chocolate. Vanilla. Mm. And lemon. Red velvet. Yeah. Two. Chocolate. Chocolate. Three. Yeah, vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it seems a uh, flavour that keeps coming up is vanilla. It's so unoffensive. Who doesn't like vanilla? It's nice and plain, but not too plain, especially if you're using vanilla extract. So, vanilla cupcakes, it is a very easy recipe, this. It's not a cake recipe that's put in uh, small little cups. It's literally a purpose-built cupcake recipe and it doesn't require any beating of flour which are um, a bigger part of butter which I absolutely despise. So self-raising flour and equal amounts of caster sugar that is all the dry ingredients that you'll need. Wet ingredients pretty much just as easy half a cup of milk we're going to chuck in there an egg and if you want to be a little bit fancy you can use buttermilk gives it a really nice um, consistency. A little bit of oil in there. And last but not least, to acti activate the baking soda and powder inside the self-raising flour, just a touch of... that was vinegar. Into that vanilla, obviously, for a vanilla cupcake. And we're going to go heavy with that. Vanilla extract, about a tablespoon. People really skimp out of vanilla, don't know why, but I really like that vanilla flavour, so go heavy. And just want to mix it in just very lightly and then into that the flour and sugar mixture and you know what I normally don't even bother the whole sifting thing it just seems like a step that seems a little bit unnecessary especially with this recipe and mix to combine and you don't want to mix it too much otherwise you'll start developing gluten which is a bad thing for cupcakes because what that means is you'll get a really chewy almost bread like cupcake which we don't want anyway get this and very carefully pour it into cupcake molds and you will only want to fill it about oh, two sorry, thirds bro, of the way that, that looks disgusting <laughs> This is why I'm not a baker. <laughs> now, what you can do alternatively is get a little ladle and do that, but um, we're a little bit short equipped right now. We did it earlier on, did it properly, and this is what they look like. Oh, They're nice. perfect flat top, and you've got that beautiful little shine on there as well. See that? Which means it's perfect for icing. And before I do, I just want to show you this. Let me peel this. It just comes straight off, and that crumb is so moist. Look at that. Yeah, really, really delicious. Share, anyway, yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys have those. I've got some ice. Don't want my carrots or hummus. And a cute little cupcake tray. Here we go. Oh, and the recipe cute. for that is online. I apologise about the icing. I'm really bad icer. Okay, um, Mike's Bite. That's right, we're bringing it back. Everything you need to know about those cupcakes uh, there. And also you'll find the ingredients for the recipe on Friday, which is pulled pork tacos Yum. with pickled onions and corn salsa. Very delicious. How are the cupcakes? I'm about to have a go. <laughs> good. That's good. That's good. Oh, okay. that I, I didn't mean to be surprised because yeah, I know yeah. you're a good cook, but um, good. Nice. Okay, get all the ingredients for wow. those pulled pork throughout the week so you can make it in the weekend. Like I said, facebook.com forward slash Mike Spites. Oh.